welcome to a new year and a new decade. Now, does this mean I'm finally going to turn over a new leaf? Hell no! Let's talk about toys marketed towards girls! Polly Pocket, who some of you might remember was a product of the 1990s, featured tiny dolls living in a makeup compact. As time passed, the popularity of the dolls waxed and waned until Mattel discontinued the toy line in 2012. Then in 2018, it was announced that Polly was going to make a comeback. Well, I never did see evidence of a comeback, especially after the giraffe's untimely death, so I have to take their word for it. Although I did hear she has a show running now in Canada, so there's that. Frankly, I don't think you could call that a comeback. I mean, just ask LL Cool J. He could probably verify. Regardless, I decided that I was going to pay homage to the girl version of Micro Machines by reviewing this. Polyworld. Why? Because I hate myself! Don't you watch this channel to know that?! I get the feeling paper cutouts are animated better. It's not like I wanted to visit you. Wow! Just look at these Polly Pocket palette swaps. Stately Wayne Manor. Polly sure does love her bum fights. Why does she look like a fish? Your jokes are bad and you should feel bad. Boo! Next weekend when we roll like that for charity and come to you from the newest, most rockin' theme park, Polly World. Is it going to suck as much as Dollywood? You were holding out on us. I was sworn to secrecy. We're spending a whole weekend at Polly World? We're gonna be on roll like that? We're gonna be sharing airspace with Donovan Ware? Uh, three things right off the bat here. One, don't you know that signing release forms for television is pretty hard and how did you keep this stuff a secret from them? Especially since they're going to be involved. Two, don't you own Polyworld? Your name's on it, so I think that's what's going on. Three, I had no idea girls were attracted to cardboard. News to me. No! If that is my future, I should end this shit now! Okay, class, here's the low down for the charity Roll Like That, which counts as your community service project. That is quality voice acting. They even sound like an overworked, underpaid educator. I'm chaperoning, so if you need anything, just ask. How about polishing my balls with a bandsaw? The show is taping at Polly World. Exactly. How come Polly gets her own world? Why can't Roll Like That film at Beth World? Tabitha St. Germain? For shame! This doesn't even sound very generous of you. Um, because there is no Beth World? It's that kind of small thinking that keeps you the 24th most popular girl. But there's only 15 girls in the whole school. Exactly because she knows that'll get under my skin more than anything else. She's insidious. Beth, do you need a chiropractor? That neck movement, girl. I'll wait and see. Love you. Another surprise? What do you think it could be? Maybe an increase in the animation budget? You guys, how many people do you think will see us on TV? Um, the world? Oh, fuck this. The princesses in Space Pop didn't even have this kind of money. So how 9000 is going to dress them? Ladies, welcome to Polyworld. You guys, feast your eyes. No way! Doesn't she own this place? This is practically her backyard! Please fire the character designer. Oh, like that! Akira? Is the TV crew like 17? Christ, these designs! 
Each team gets a PDA with an interactive map of Polyworld. Ooh, a PDA! This is the future! I am an internet access. We're connected. So get ready to use your brains, your talent, and teamwork to compete in challenges set all over this awesome new park. What if you have none of that? Team Pocket, great. Team Thrash? Yeah. Team Lightning? Did you even try with this guy? Honestly. And now get ready to experience the ultimate theme park shopping destination, Polly World. So you created the Mall of America only more obnoxious. This place is awesome. I don't even know where to start. You could start by leaving. Now, the first thing we do is check into our hotel rooms. Oh lord, an old person! She's gotta be 27 or worse, 30! We know how much you're looking forward to it. Don't worry, we're here all weekend. You fucking perv! Whoa. We get to stay here? It's Polly's house with a beach theme. So what? Love you guys. You hear that? No. What? That dial tone. Cause this place is off the hook. Oh, nobody says that. You have got to be kidding me. Where's Billy Ray Cyrus and his dopey daughter? They need to cater to our needs. Should I be pissed or stoked about this? Afternoon, ladies. Could you turn down the sun in your room, girls? You can't sneak up on me. I'd know those footsteps anywhere. I taught Solid Snake everything he knows. And getting roll like that to shoot here with my class? Oh, the whole thing is monster fabulorific. Could you speak English, dear? Nothing could be bigger than the weekend already is. Polly, you know I want to give you everything in the world, right? Gee, I couldn't tell. I mean, you named a huge fuck mall after her! Polly, it is such a pleasure to finally meet you in person. I want to hug you, but I don't want to force the new mom thing. But Oh shit! Papa Pocket's been getting some strange! I want you to meet Lorelei. She's the best piece of ass this side of Knoxville! Wow. So you're engaged. What do you think? Um... Uh... Alright, all jokes aside, you didn't introduce her before you got engaged? Like, not even dropped any kind of hints that this woman was in your life? Look, I don't know what happened to mom, but this is pretty fucked up! Put her on the spot like that. She just met me and I'm marrying her father. I'm sure she doesn't know what to think. When's the wedding? We haven't set a date yet. Maybe summer. Oh, but summer's so far off. I say, why wait? We know we want to get married. Let Do you even listen to yourselves? Of course your band can't play at the reception. You'll be in the wedding party. You'll be far too busy. Doing what? Wedding party things. <laughs> I bought this for you in Italy. It's beautiful. I saw the charms in this stunning little boutique and they just spoke to me. Oh, fuck this family. Go get him tonight, sweetie. Thanks. Emote for fuck's sakes. Your life is about to go through some monumental change and the only facial expression you have is meh? Huh? A popsicle. We think they're part of the clue. We were cruising the park when the PDA lit up and told us to check our freezer! Why is the best looking asset in this entire film the Popsicle logo? But then she starts calling me sweetie and hugging me and trying to act like she's my mom. It just feels weird. Recognizing major trauma, but must pause. Loving the bracelet. Yeah, fuck deep emotions. Shiny things! Since you guys would be guests, it would be wrong to make you play. We can be guests at the wedding? That would be pretty fun. I bet a pocket wedding would be ginormous. Are you happy or pissed? Eyebrows are important, animators. Hang on. 
You're in the hula doula. Hula doula? Random. <gasps> Wait, two girls, one cup? <laughs> Why is there no blue food? Would you like to know? How about mm, everything? Oh, that shit ain't creepy. I have no idea how to hula. Me neither, but it looks like fun. For this contest, you'll need skill, you'll need coordination, and you'll need a grass skirt. Is this even legal? And why is Chris Cardboard wearing a Christmas wreath around his neck? Okay, I'll try it. This is called the desperate cry for help. Let's make this a little more interesting. <laughs> well, this escalated quickly. Go, Jim, hug it! Suck it to them! <laughs> Our sexual tension is insane, Samuel. And Beth, as a special prize for winning this contest, your whole team gets a free afternoon swimming with dolphins at Fountain Falls in the Polyworld Porpoise Pond. This sounds like a punishment for the dolphins. Will no one think of the dolphins? Beth, baby, this one's for you. I told you you should have killed that bitch. Right, and it deserves a celebration. I'm thinking ice cream, a little shopping on Polywalk, fireworks. Anyone interested? <laughs> Not everything can be solved by spending money! She's smart, she's talented, and her father absolutely lives for her. How am I supposed to compete with that? It is a competition, Vi. When Polly's around, she's all John thinks about. Oh! <laughs> Check you out, Mommy Dearest. Kids just love 40-year-old movie references. In fact, I happen to think your plan is mad brilliant, and I have an idea to help. Oh, that's cute, but I don't need a child to help me out. Just what I always wanted. A Polly Pocket antagonist pissing contest. Movie, you read my mind. Ever had that perfect... Oh man, how many udders suffered and died for that monstrosity? I like Papa Pocket's porn stash. Hi, sorry I'm late. No worries, we're... Oh, gross. Cooties! Come on, girls. Let's go do some damage. Emotes! God damn it, Popsicle. Quit poking your ass in this shitty movie. I don't think I ever shopped this much. Thanks, Mr. P. That was so nice of you. Yes! Blowing money is the best therapy there is. Especially when your wealth competes with Mr. Bezos. And Lorelai, you are my new fashion hero. I never would have picked out half of this stuff for myself. Because we're fucking poor. Can I? I've got my two favorite people in the world with me. What else could I possibly want? I don't know. Maybe mommy back? Hanging out with her last night was a lot of fun. I know. But I still have that feeling that something's not right. You're right. She likes Dolce & Gabbana. That feels so weird. I just wish I knew for sure that Lorelai was really good for him. Where's Boba Fett when you need him? That it's raining in our room? Me too! The actual fuck? So, rain... forest? Rainforest! <gasps> There's a rainforest realm in Polly World! I swear to the flying spaghetti monster's floating meatballs. If the Rainforest Cafe is somehow affiliated with this abomination, I fucking quit. Oh, please don't bastardize my pastime! I've been skating for 20 years, and I can't even flip. Color me jealous. Okay, everyone, shoot the duck. Nobody under 30 knows what the hell that means. To all my dreams coming true, and yet still so far away. I mind that, um... Oh, please crash into a Zamboni, even though this isn't ice skating. Apparently not like that. I guess the crashing animation was out of the budget for this thing. Inviting me, Polly. This was a really nice surprise. You're welcome. I thought it would be good to hang out. So when does Honey Boo Boo show up? I know that look. Polly's having a major light bulb moment. What time is banana? 
During the next contest, you guys got into a huge fight with me. <laughs> like the total train wreck from last week's show? Beth would be all about that. So all about it that she wouldn't concentrate on her own team, and we could sneak ahead and win. So you sabotage yourselves to sabotage Beth. Did you all snort an eight ball together before this? Gosh, I was afraid you didn't figure out the clue. The clue wasn't the problem. It was ten plates of loaded nachos plus seven straight backflips at the drive and dine skate rink. Don't look behind the second fern, bro. In this relay contest, you'll simulate saving rainforest animals who lose their homes to deforestation. Ooh, Polly got political. Mm-hmm. And the stuffed animal's not bad either. Oh, just fucking stop already! You're making Mary-Kate and Ashley Olsen's friends look asexual! This'll be a breeze. You think? So they get to play real-life Frogger? Cool! Yeah! Ah, she'll be fine. She's part fish after all. Are you guys going to let him drown? It's a lot to ask of a young girl. You're worried about her. What? Oh no, I like that. I knew you'd fall in love with her. This is exactly what I wanted to happen. I knew my tube steak was a mind-altering drug, but damn. One train wreck coming up. Group Val, whatever we say, it's not real. It's only strategy. Let the cat fight begin! These guys were behind. This never would have happened if you let me go first. All right, because it always has to be about you. Maybe that's because I do most of the work. No, 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 no. Let's try this again with my dubbing. Jesus Christ, you street urchins suck so hard you can take chrome off a bumper. Oh, look who's talking, Lollipop. Well, at least I don't use teeth. Much better. Is it my birthday? I'm getting the best present in the world. A plunger? So I can shoot up your ass! I'm watching the destruction of Polly Pocket's popularity. This is a once-in-a-lifetime experience. It's like seeing Haley's Comet. This is better than when I ruined Enron. Stuck up! Yes. I feel the same way as you. Why does she have to have her name all over everything? It's Polly Pocket. We get it already. Oh, God, movie. Thank you for being self-aware. Which puts me straight at the top of the popularity ladder, where I will reign supreme! Let's hear it for Beth! Wow! Flagrant, overbearing, narcissistic diva doesn't even begin to describe your shit attitude! You like me! You really like me! And the winner of the river race, Team Pocket! Damn! And for your prize, you each get a day of beauty at the Twirl and Swirl Beauty Spa in the fabulous Poly World Hotel. Enjoy it. But they could do that all regardless. In case you didn't know, Polly owns all this shit! Got a jet. Samuel's gonna help me go get an engagement gift. Meet you later. To collect our Oscars? I don't remember asking you a goddamn thing. Polly, is everything okay? I'm worried about you. I, I saw the... Everything's great, Dad. Honest. I just have to run. Catch you later? I have no daughter! They put me in boarding school and it was the best thing in the world. I was a kid. I fought it tooth and nail at first. But without it, I can't imagine what my life would have been. I'd probably be less snarky and more enjoyable to be with. It was very smooth back there with your father. I'm sure he doesn't suspect a thing. I can't wait to pop out of his bachelor cake in a thong. Never saw a stretched Volkswagen Beetle before. It's nails down a blackboard. Ugh. I understand, but I think you should give Lorelai a chance. It would be good for you to have a mother figure again. Because we're not gonna talk about your mother who died of car cancer accidentitis. <laughs> That's silly. Why do that? Look, isn't it beautiful? I got one for myself too. We can match. Oh shit, Lorelai is a fan of Freddy, the worst Scooby Doo character. I'm ready to step in and be a mother to Polly, but with you already filling that role, I don't see her making room for me at all. Do you? Although he's no Shaft, I bet he is a pretty bad mother. Oh look, it's the tech demo for the animation group. Tell me you're not really leaving. I prefer to say I'm taking a leave of absence. The fuck is this? 
You've been guilted into resigning? What kind of major malfunction do you have? And don't drag our good name through the mud, you ass! Please don't leave me. You're giving up on that sweet Papa Pocket posterior? Are you a madman? Doesn't he care about us anymore? <sighs> Maybe Samuel leaving is for the best. What? I mean, I could only contain myself around that beautiful bald spot for so long. A boarding school? You'll love it. There's gorgeous grounds, an amazing music program, everything you love to do is there. You have smoked yourself retarded. What if I say I won't go? I've already made arrangements. You start on Monday. This Monday? For the ever fucking love of fuck's sake, dude! Does this girl get any say in this benevolent dictatorship? Or is that swinging bed sex just that damn good? Ah, oh, yes. Memories. Well, the ones from this movie, anyway. If he doesn't want me home with him and Lorelai, believe me, I don't want to be there. Not with Samuel gone. So this is our last weekend together? I didn't think Polly World was gonna have some deep drama, but there you go! What's going to happen to the band? You'll crash and burn like Oasis, I guess. We can visit all the time. We'll see each other. We can rehearse. Yeah, it won't be the same, but it'll be okay. You are too optimistic and I am too cynical for this shit! I mean, we'll totally email you all the time. Every day. Four times a day. Ten times a day. Yo, back off, fish girl. Where are you going? To get my video camera. If this is our last weekend together, I want to document every minute. You all remembered where you started, so now you just need to know where you're going. To hell in a handbasket, I hope. Don't be silly. Fish can't kickflip. Oh no, this movie's going into musical mode to pad out the runtime. So really blew the movie budget with this shot, didn't ya? You know, Should we let them shoplift? Sure, we only make minimum wage. Fuck it! Come on, it's the only thing standing between us and first place. I know, but little roller coasters get me scared. In the rest of the montage, during the rides, it didn't look like you had any kind of problem or anxiety. Are you telling me the animation budget ran out and they couldn't animate you looking scared shitless? Yeah. Oh, look, if it isn't Team Pocket. Oh, look, Popsicle sticking their nose in this shitty movie again. Joy! No fair, we were here first. Our car should go before this. It's a twin racer like at Kennywood. Cool your britches and run like hell when the ride stops. To boarding school. How did you know about boarding school? My dad just told me about it. I'm psychic. I mean psycho. I meant to say psycho. Team Thrash, for winning the Extravenger, you get a free day of ATV riding at the Poly World Off-Road Center. An ATV off-road area? Good gravy, what doesn't this place have? Probably healthcare for its employees. For the show's tomorrow, so roll out. <sighs> Please don't impersonate a good cartoon character. And you know what a celebrity best friend will make me? An anonymous source for gossip magazines? <sighs> More popular than Polly Pocket? Yeah, she'll be living in a trailer with five kids by the time she's 24. We have to take out Polly and the Pockets completely. How? Not sure. Let me get Tanya Harding on the phone. Playing it live on one of the biggest shows on TV? We'll do it live! Fuck it! Maybe Lorelai just made him think it was and that he's doing what's best for me. Wow. You have a one-track mind, Polly. Now where's my fish food? If she is, my dad could be making the biggest mistake of his life. Yeah, Papa Pocket needs to confess his love to Samuel right now. No way. You guys have to see this. It's called Cake Farts. I was going over the footage I shot today during the Extravenger. Check it out. No way. Is that Lorelai and Beth? Wow, footage from a camera that was never animated. I don't know what you're talking about. I'm talking about your plan to get rid of Polly without her dad realizing. Well, you just noticed this now, Sapruder? How sweet is this? They're together. We can bust Lorelai to her face. Yeah, let's hamstring this hoe. Hide. Ugh, 
nothing. Gross. Twenty somethings cuddling. Not just for dinner. For everything. For making this past year the best of my life. A year? You kept this woman a secret from her for a year? Dude, you obviously indulged Polly with all this shit you've got around her. But do you actually know her? Or is it too far away to come visit her on the other side of the house? That's why I fell for you. I'm lucky you did. <coughs> Ooh, hey, carrots. <coughs> you really think you could be happy with her as your stepmom? I'll still have you guys, and I'll still have my dad. And maybe boarding school will be a good thing. Are you fucking mental? After everything you've just witnessed, and you're thinking about backing down? I don't know what crack the writers were on when they wrote this shit, because they're obviously in a corner that I have no faith that they can get themselves out of. Look at him. He's crazy about her. I think they fell asleep. Oh, I am done! Ugh. God damn my morbid curiosity, let's go! Sleep here to prove it? I think a bird built a nest in my hair. I wouldn't notice a difference. Again? Ever wonder what you could accomplish if you used your skills for good and not evil? Not so much, no. But how do we get out of here? It doesn't seem like there is a way out. You mean we're trapped under here? Wait a minute, this is the same plot as Rainbow Rocks. These teens have been neck and neck all weekend. You can't say necking in a little girl show, you perv! Allow me to introduce our celebrity judge, star of stage and screen, Miss Caroline Hall! Popularity doesn't make you rich. Well, then again, she might be onto something. Team Thrash! Yeah! Holy shit, a rollerblader! I'm calling shenanigans. Wait a minute, when did they get dressed? Can't you feel it's now or never? Whoa, Polly went through puberty on the ride up. Wow, they suck. I know what I know. I know that I'd be a lot nicer to me, you know. Oh, I would pay good money to see a cat fight right now. Out. Excuse me? You heard the girl. We need to talk, so you're getting out. But I'm messing with the family of John Pocket. All right, fine. But just don't touch any of the buttons in here. Oh, you're fired! Thank God it's over! I'd tell him exactly what I heard. That you think Polly's too much competition for you. You wanted to get rid of her and ship her to boarding school. That's not how a control room works. I have John wrapped so tightly around my little finger, he'd believe the world is flat if I said so. You mean it isn't? We've heard every word. I always knew that I'd look good supersized. Mm, no shocker here. Hi, world. As your newest sweetheart, I would like to charm you with my mad cheerleading skills. <sighs> Just let me get my vodka first. Then, looks like Team Beth is too incapacitated to participate tonight. Because screw her, am I right? So it's down. Team Pocket and Team Thrash. Yeah, right. Like the boys have a snowball's chance in hell to win. The winner of this week's roll like that is Team Thrash. What the actual fuck? Thrash, thrash, thrash. Congratulations. Don't lift her up. You don't know where she's been. With a one-week cruise on Polly Cruise Line's so hip cruise ship, a voyage you'll never forget. Especially after taxes. Congratulations, guys. We're really happy for you. Thanks. Ah, uh, yeah! Finally, a rollerblader won something! <sighs> I can't believe I didn't see through her. <sighs> it happens, bro. Money can't buy you intelligence or common sense. 
I believed her when she said you were stressed out and needed structure. I mean, moms know those things about their daughters, right? <laughs> you don't have to go to boarding school. I'll call tomorrow and get everything ironed out. I promise. Really? Nope. I lied. Of course. Everything always works out for Miss Polly Perfect. Damn her and her perfect life! I'll be in next time. You're going down hard! Who are you talking to? No one. Want to scare the ducks with our mad cheerleading skills? Sure! And that was Polly World, aka let's watch a bunch of privileged fucks have all the fun and expenses be damned. And throughout all of this insanity, yeah, I was siding with Beth. I mean, she appears to be a little imbalanced, but there is a hint of truth in there that Polly gets whatever the fuck she wants, even when she loses. I mean, let's be honest with ourselves. Had she won the game, she'd been going on a cruise on her own cruise line. Like that shit she could do on a Tuesday for funsies. She makes Mary-Kate and Ashley Olsen look fucking destitute. And when you take that kind of insanity privilege and mesh it with flat animation, tonal whiplash, and awkward pacing, you get a bizarre train wreck that I can't look away from. Like, I got pissed at some parts, but oddly fascinated at others. Like, I didn't know what to make of this. The movie's not total ass. I mean, it's more like a notch above fecal dust. It's just weird. I don't know. I don't know. I don't fucking get it. Now, if you'll excuse me, I gotta go to my other job over at the pocket residence. I got some shit to clean up in the third time zone of the house. <sighs> at least I get health care there. Play some fucking Polly Pocket Pool fuck nest shit ass. Oh, jeez, I'm crow. I need to learn to read. I have no ideas, girl. Did the animation budget at. Ah. Ooh, PDA! This is. <coughs> God damn it! <coughs>